So this question, we're depositing each month. So we're making a monthly deposit. So right away, I know we're using periodic deposits. And that puts us in this row. So it's just a question of which of these three formulas should we use, one, two, or three. And we want to know how much will you have in the account in 20 years. So that is find the final value, which is PN. So I want the formula that's solved for PN, which will be this first one. So we'll start by writing that formula. It's this one right here. So it's D times one plus R over K to the NK minus one divided by R over K. Okay, so we need to write down what all these values are. So I'll start with D is the deposit, the regular payment, which for us is 500. Monthly, that means K is 12. That's the number of uh, periods in one year. The number of months in a year is 12. 3% uh, interest, that's the rate, but you need to turn it into a decimal. So you have to move the decimal place over twice. So that is 3% as a decimal. And what else do we need? N is the amount of time in years. So here we have 20 years. That's 20 years. I think that is every variable we need. So let's go ahead, 500 in for D, one plus rate 0 0.03 over K is 12, raised to the N K, 20 times 12. Now that minus one, you need to make sure you do not do a minus one in the exponent. We'll be careful in the calculator when we type this in. And of course the bottom we have R over K. Uh, you could compute this separately and just put the decimal in if you wanted to, that would be okay. All right, so calculator, here we go. So we'll start with the easy part, 500 times, start two parentheses, one plus 0 0.03 divided by 12. Now I'm using the mouse to move the cursor. We'll close that parentheses. Raise to a power, so that's a to the b, this power is 20 times, now if you see what just happened, that decimal, it looks like a decimal point, but I hit the times button and that moved the cursor down. You can see clearly when I type the 12, that is not the order of operations. I want that 20 times 12 in the exponent, so I'm gonna undo a couple times. So what I'm gonna do, whoa, get back in there. Now starting a parenthesis, 20 times 12, close parentheses. So now I have that multiplication inside the exponent. Now I don't wanna do the minus one in the exponent. Uh, however, when I close the parentheses, it kicked me out of the exponent. Um, and you can see, it's a little bit tricky to see, but that minus one is on the same level as that right there. It's not up with the exponent. All right, that's only the numerator of the fraction. So now we're gonna do divided by it's okay for the 500 to be outside. That's all right, as long as it's multiplied. Now I'm gonna do 0 0.03 divided by 12. Uh, if you really wanted that 500 to be up here, you could do that. But make sure you, uh-oh, I'll have to delete on the keyboard. Make sure you delete that 500. You don't wanna multiply twice in there. All right, so we have our value, 164.150.99. Let me just double check that value. All right, now if we round that, of course, you'd round it up, um, which I definitely should. Okay, and this is our PN, the final value. So let's go ahead and check our answer. 
164151. Okay, great. So that is our final value. Now, part B, how much total money did you put into the account? We don't need any of these fancy formulas for that at all. How much did we put in? Well, it's a good question. How much put in? We did 500 per month uh, times 12 months per year times 20 years. Uh, I shouldn't be lazy with writing units. This is $500 dollars per month. Now, if you remember unit cancellation from before, month cancels months, year cancels years, and what units are you left with? Just dollars. And I do have to do the 500 times 12 times 20, whatever that is. Oops, don't want to do it there. Hit enter to get that out of there. 500 times 12 times 20, 120,000. All right, so that'll be the amount you put into the account. Now the last one, how much total interest will you earn? Well, that is the difference between what you put in and what the value is at the end, you subtract those two, and that'll give you that last part right there. It's the difference between what you put in and what the interest earned for you.